Hey guys, today I'm going to unbox the Gears 4 4 Elite Controller. Here you have both the standard Elite Controller and the Gears 4 4 Controller. Uh, as you can see, there's a difference in the either the Xbox logo and a Lancer on the Gears controller. So yeah, let me get them open for a second. Here you have the the battles and the different D-pads and uh, sticks. Of course, you have that for the Gears for Elite controller as well. Battles already on the back. Um, let me see. Here you have the Phoenix Omen. And uh, on the battles, you've got the fingerprints of Rob Ferguson. I'll give you a close up. Um, yeah, on the front, we have the Crimson Omen on the left side. And obviously the scratches laser etched into the controller. Uh, the primary, standard primary weapons are on the D-pad. Uh, underneath the D-pad there is the text Grub Killer, which is a reference to Clayton Carmine in Gears 4 Tree. Uh, under the stick it says, never fight alone. Um, I'll give you a close up here. On the normal Elite controller, you've got a silver Xbox button, which is marked black on the Gears 4 controller. The box has some nice box art as well, so I'll grab the box in a second. Um, we've got the Crimson Omen on the bottom, and the fingerprints of Rock Ferguson on the sides both sides and on the back obviously the details of the controller um, let me grab the other box for a second I'll compare them the word elite is on a different place and obviously the Gears 4 one has a Gears 4 one logo um, I will show you some pictures as well Oh, I forgot to mention the the blue spars, which you have, which are quite bright in the right lighting, which you can see on the on the photos. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. So, see you next time.